welcome back to my channel and if you're new hey what's up my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video this video shout out goes to Christy Weaver I know I already gave Christy a big shout out but Christy you are such an epic rock star on my channel in my daily life you are so amazing you are such a sweetheart so compassionate, like, oh my goodness, so compassionate, so caring about my health, my my well-being, my everything, and you're so actively commenting all the time. You're constantly helping my channel grow. I appreciate you so, so very much, and I really hope that you know how much I appreciate you, and I know that we don't always have a chance to like talk and I don't I respond to comments and I really need to get better at that. I'm just so stressed out with trying to play catch up on so many videos right now that when I'm not working I'm constantly recording, constantly editing, trying to fit in family time. I have my babies to take care of. It's just so many doctor's appointments all the time. If you guys saw what my schedule was like, you would not know how I even managed to fit in YouTube videos and recordings and editing at all. So I'm so sorry, but you are just so incredible and I really hope that you know that. And it has taken me so long to fulfill this request and I am so very sorry, but here it is. So my top favorite perfumes, I have narrowed it down to my top five favorites. Now, what I have been like my all time favorite for years, and I'm talking years, is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. I don't even know how many bottles I have gone through by uh, of this stuff. They make a uh, body wash, a body lotion, a body mousse, a little concentrate, like uh, hair spritz to like just freshen up your hair. They make so many products and it is delicious. Now, if you buy it from Nordstrom, I think Sephora might carry it, but any of the bigger companies, it's going to be way more expensive. Uh, on my website, there's actually a shopping uh, section because Kurt has a wholesale uh, like dealer, whatever it is, with FragranceX.com, and he gets a lot, not all perfumes but a lot of perfumes at a wholesale price so it is so discounted like I used to pay $22 for a body wash and I think now I pay $8 since we got together like it's a drastic difference so check that site out if you're interested in it because it, it just it makes a huge difference and a lot of my perfumes are on there. So many colognes are on there. So for anybody that wants to check it out, it might be worthwhile. Some of the perfumes aren't as marked down, same with the colognes, but others have a drastic savings, especially the longer the perfume has been out. Like this baby's been out for so, so, so long. But this one is nothing but candy deliciousness. And I'm not talking like, oh my God, ew, too sweet. You guys know I cannot handle that kind of like sweetness level. I like the fake sweet, overpowering sweet, that kind of sweet. This is like cotton candy, but on like a feminine grown up. Oh, the, it's just, it's just like all these, my mouth's watering, all these amazing candy scents in one, but for grown-ups. It is incredible. It is like my go-to. This is my go-to. Hands down, my favorite go-to. Every time I wear this, I get complimented. Like, I'm not kidding. 
every single time. Now, my next favorite, which I baby because this one is expensive, it's the Yves Saint Laurent YSL Mont Paris perfume. I got the big baby. Kurt bought this for me for my law school graduation as part of my law school graduation gifts. And it is now on Fragrance X, but at the time he bought it for me from Sephora and it's expensive. Uh, but that's why I keep that YSL box up there and I mentioned it to you guys in my beauty room tour. This has the littlest bit of like a candy undertone but it is mainly just warm and sexy and feminine. Like this is my go-to fall and winter perfume. Oh, it's so good. But you could still wear it year round. Like you could still wear it year round. It's not even funny, but oh, it's amazing. So if you guys live near a Sephora, go smell this. It is really delicious, but it's definitely a heavier scent. And I think like for me, it is definitely more fall winter because I like more candy fruity scents for spring and summer. And this is just, I have a, a travel one. I love this one so much too, that I actually do keep a travel size in my toiletry bag plus the the big baby in my bathroom and it's just so beautiful it just it's so good and then it always gives me memories of my law school graduation now as well now Escada has been one of my favorite perfume brands for oh a decade I think a decade and Escada releases a new scent every single year I don't know if they do two a year, one a year for sure, but Fragrance X has been my savior <laughs> because they will still carry the old stock and I have kept the boxes to show you guys how fun the packaging is that it comes in because right now these are my two favorite scents and so I wanted to show you guys. Uh, what they look like and every scent is always limited edition because as soon as they come out with their next one the next year that's it Escada stops carrying it and you have to go look elsewhere you know Amazon wherever it is to find the perfume Wow <laughs> but I have loved so many Escada perfumes over the years I don't even know where to begin, but right now I am loving Rockin' Rio and Sexy Graffiti. So you get, these are the perfumes, I mean the bottle is even so sexy itself. So this is Rockin' Rio and this is Sexy Graffiti. So Rockin' Rio, I don't know what they're barking at. Oh, I, these are, I, I'm so bad at describing undertones in perfumes and it doesn't have the undertones written on here. I don't know why. That's so dumb. It just lets you know that it's made in the UK. Okay. Do, I can do spritz here. Like, oh my god, it's so good. How do I... It's like, has fruity undertones, like not candy. It's fruity and it's feminine with a little bit of warmth. <sighs> Kurt is obsessed with this one. He's obsessed with both Escadas. Let me try to see if I can describe the other one. I'm gonna spray it on the other side. <sighs> I, <laughs> I wish I could. This one has like candy, fruity, 
like sexy graffiti is like candy, fruity, sexy perfume. Like sexy graffiti is a really great name for it. It's not like a warm undertone perfume at all. It's like a really great balance of like your candy and your fruity and light and just perfect for summertime where Rock and Rio doesn't have any candy undertones, but it's still an amazing summertime foundation or foundation uh, perfume. Yeah. So I think it's just. Sexy Graffiti incorporates candy with fruity and perfect for summertime. Rockin' Rio incorporates fruity with a little bit of warmth, but still perfect for summertime. Pink Sugar is like just, just candy, delicious amazingness. My best friends go crazy whenever I wear it. They're like, they just don't want to let go of hugging me because they can't get enough of the smell. It is so good. And then the YSL Mon Paris is so amazing for fall and winter. It is just feminine with like that little undertone of like a candy, but feminine. And then the other one that I, my least favorite of the five, but I still do really like it, and Kurt actually really likes it too. I only have samples because I have so many samples, is the MAC Yum Yum Yum. <laughs> Which, candy Yum Yum, sorry. My, it's the, uh, no, that's Magic Dust. It's their blush that's Yum Yum Yum. The perfume is candy, yum, yum, yum. And their perfume has candy and warm tone uh, scents in it too. And Kurt really enjoys this one. Yeah, like, I would say this one has the warmest tones. Kurt just came home, I can hear the garage opening with like a hint of candy, which is why it's my least favorite. I really love to go for candy and floral and that type of range when it comes to perfumes, but there's something about the YSL that just does it for me. This is like the exception where it's like balanced, where the other three have overpowering candy or fruity undertones, overtones, tones in general. I don't even know how to describe perfumes really. Where the candy yum yum yum, candy yum yum. I'm so used to saying yum 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 from the blush. The candy yum yum. I wouldn't highly recommend unless you really do like warm, like just warmth perfumes, I guess. I just, does this, this doesn't have any undertones written on it either, which is really annoying. Yeah, so I can't even give you guys undertones, but it is my least favorite. I wanted to include it because I still like it, but the other four, if I had to make my top favorite three, it would be Pink Sugar, the YSL, and Escada Sexy Graffiti. Those would be my, my three favorites, but I wanted to give you guys top five as well, but those are my top three. So I know that you requested that video. And then I also have a product empties video request. I have not overlooked that. I have an overflowing bag. So that will be coming up to, I'm just out of steam for the day because I have now been recording for seven hours. <laughs> I'm killed. And now spraying all these perfumes has triggered a headache. I can feel it coming on really, really, really strong. Whew. Uh, I think the Mac one is what did it to me though. To be honest, that one, I was fine with everything up until the Mac. 
maybe I'm taking this off my list. This might actually be a migraine trigger. The other four were totally fine until I sprayed this one. Yeah, okay. I I don't think I'm recommending this one to migraine sufferers at all because this one just triggered a headache for me like holy cow. Uh, but the other ones don't give me, don't trigger migraines. I just don't wear any perfumes when I have a migraine or I have a headache because I don't want to make them worse. But the other ones do not give me one. The MAC one actually just like bam gave me one. And I've never put that together before. So, just so you guys are aware, I mean, everybody's different too. So, just because it is a trigger for me doesn't mean it's a trigger for you. But I just want to make you aware that just instantly, like, holy cow, gave me a headache. But I, I, the other four are fine. So, anyway, that does it for this video. Please. Give